Refutation of Obfuscation Part 4 The truth most Christians do not know about Christianity, the Holy Bible, and Islam. Chapter 4 The Crucifixion The Original Sin and Salvation I cursed them because they proudly, but falsely, said, We killed the Messiah, Jesus, Son of Mary, the Messenger of Allah. They did not kill him as they claimed, nor did they crucify him, but they killed and crucified a man whom Allah made to resemble Jesus, so they thought the person who was killed was Jesus. Those Jews who claim to have killed him and those Christians who surrendered him over to them are in doubt and confusion regarding the matter. They have no knowledge, but make guesses that are of no worth against the truth. Truly, they did not kill Jesus nor crucify him. Instead, Allah saved Jesus from their plot and raised him in body and spirit to himself. Allah is mighty in his dominion and nothing can overpower him. He is wise in his planning, decisions and laws. The Glorious Quran for Colon 157-158 The Crucifixion, Was Jesus Crucified? The Crucifixion is the essential doctrine of Christianity. Wherever you go around the world, you will find a Christian talking about the crucifixion of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. Therefore, let us examine the only obvious claim made by Jesus, peace be upon him, according to the Gospels and see whether he fulfilled his promise to the Jews or not. Despite the centuries of religious experiences, the Jews were not prepared to judge a man of Almighty God according to the moral character of his teaching. They still insisted on seeing a messenger and prophet of Almighty God perform some magic trick and sleight of hand to prove his genuineness. In the New Testament of the Bible, Matthew records that the learned men among the Jews, the scribes and Pharisees, came to Jesus, peace be upon him, and asked Master. We would see a sign from thee, Matthew 12 verse 38. The Jews mistook him for a sorcerer and wizard. However, the Bible states that Jesus, peace be upon him, answered them. An evil and adulterous generation seeketh after a sign, and there shall no sign be given to it, but the sign of the prophet Jonah. For as Jonah was three days and three nights in the whale's belly, so shall the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth, Matthew 12 verses 39-40. There is no clearer and obvious statement of Jesus, peace be upon him, throughout the Gospels than this one about his agony, trial and tribulation. The only sign he was prepared to give according to the Bible, in response to the Jews, was the sign of Prophet Jonah, peace be upon him. The question arises, did Jesus, peace be upon him, fulfill the only sign he gave? The Worldwide Society of Christians answers with fully in agreement yes. Without paying attention and take notice of the biblical advice not to take things for granted, but prove all things, 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 21. Jesus, peace be upon him, said, the sign of prophet Jonah, so what was the sign, miracle, of Jonah, peace be upon him? To get the answer, we have to go to the book of Jonah in the Old Testament to find out and to know the similarity between them. The story, Jonah was commissioned and commanded to go to Nineveh and to warn the Ninevites to repent from their evil ways and from the violence that is in their hands, Jonah 3 verse 8. Jonah despaired of his duty and then he took a boat and went to the sea. While at sea, there was a terrible and terrific tempest, storm. Therefore, the people in the boat said to one another, Come, let us cast lots, so that we may know on whose account this calamity has come upon us. So they cast lots, and the lot fell on Jonah, Jonah 1 verse 7. After that when the lot fell on Jonah he said to them pick me up and throw me into the sea, Jonah 1 verse 12. Therefore, they threw him out of the boat they picked Jonah up and threw him into the sea, Jonah 1 verse 15. In the sea, the Lord provided a large fish to swallow up Jonah, and Jonah was in the belly of the fish three days and three nights, Jonah 1 verse 17. At that difficult moment Jonah prayed to the Lord his God from the belly of the fish, Jonah 2 verse 1, then the Lord spoke to the fish, and it spewed, vomited, Jonah out upon the dry land, Jonah 2 verse 10. From the story mentioned above, the similarity between Jesus and Jonah, peace be upon them, cannot be other than one of two, the life factor or the time factor. Therefore, let us examine these two. First, the life factor. When Jonah, peace be upon him, was thrown out of the boat, was he dead or alive? The answer from any Christian immediately will be alive without doubt or hesitation. In fact, since Jonah offering himself in his own word pick me up and throw me into the sea there is no need for strangling him and killing him. When the whale swallowed him, was he dead or alive? The answer is alive. This whale carried him around the ocean for three days and three nights as stated in the Bible, was he dead or alive? 
The answer is undoubtedly alive, because it is mentioned in the Bible Jonah prayed to the Lord his God from the belly of the fish and a dead man cannot pray. After being in the belly of the whale that period of time, the whale vomited him onto the seashore, was he dead or alive? The answer still remains the same alive. If Jonah was alive through all his adventures including his stay in the belly of the whale three days and three nights, so was Jesus ought to be alive in the heart of the earth as he had foretold. Is not it? However, the Christians are saying that Jesus was dead for three days and three nights. The contradiction is very obvious, Jonah alive and Jesus dead. Unlike each other. Jesus had said like Jonah not unlike Jonah. Second, the time factor. Christian scholars insist on the point that Jesus, peace be upon him, was emphasizing the time factor in this prophecy. As a consequence of this, let us see whether that theory true or false. In the beginning of this examination, when was Jesus crucified? On what day? The Worldwide Society of Christians answers Friday. That is why the Christians celebrate Good Friday as a public holy day. They say that Good Friday is good because Jesus Christ died on the cross on this day to wash off our sins. Let us accept the Gospel records as true and correct for the purpose of this discussion. From the Gospel records, we notice that the Jews were in a hurry to eliminate Jesus. As much as they were in a hurry to hang him on the cross, they were in equal hurry to bring him down from the cross before the sunset on Friday because of the Sabbath. It is stated in the Bible, the body should not remain upon the cross on the Sabbath day, John 19 verse 31. The Sabbath day starts at the sunset of Friday and the Jews were warned in, Deuteronomy 21. 22-23, that the victim of crucifixion was an accursed of God and was not to be permitted to remain hanging on the cross. Therefore, they took down the body from the cross and then placed the shrouded body into the sepulchre, tomb, before nightfall. Therefore, Jesus is supposed to be in the sepulchre, tomb, on the night of Friday. He also supposed to be in the tomb on the day of Saturday. He's still supposed to be in the tomb on the night of Saturday. However, the first day of the week Sunday morning, before sunrise according to the Bible, Mary Magdalene visited the sepulchre, tomb, and she found it empty. All Christians agree with this. Thus, if it was the time factor that Jesus, peace be upon him, was trying to stress when he said three days and three nights like Jonah. Then let us count to see whether Jesus was three days and three nights in the tomb or not. Friday, placed in tomb, before sunset, days, x nights. Saturday, supposed to be in the tomb, days, nights. Sunday, Mary Magdalene did not find him in the tomb, days, x nights, x. Total, days, one nights, two. Clearly and undoubtedly, we notice that the grand total in the ground is one day and two nights. It is not three days and three nights. The greatest mathematician will fail to obtain the desired result, three and three, it is one and two. As a result of this, Jesus, peace be upon him, failed to fulfill the time factor as well. If we accept the gospel records as true and correct for the crucifixion of Jesus, then Jesus had failed two times. First, the life factor. Second, the time factor. If this belief of the trendsetters of the Christian faith in the world today, may we not then ask, is this not the mightiest hoax in history? The original sin and salvation. Basically, the original sin is a Christian doctrine that says everyone is born sinful. Thus, everyone is destined to go to hellfire because of Adam and Eva, when they disobeyed God and ate the fruits from the tree which God forbids them to eat from. It was Paul's idea of redemption which considered that humanity shares in Adam's sin, transmitted by human generation. In fact, sin inheritance is totally false and everyone is independent and responsible for himself. No one shall bear the sins of someone else. It is illogical that God Almighty would sacrifice someone for the sin of others. This is an accusation of injustice against God the most just. Even in the international law, there is not a single court in any country would substitute the murderer for someone else, and no innocent person shall be punished for the crime of others. It is clearly mentioned in both the glorious Quran and the Bible. As for the Bible, it states that the soul that sins shall die, the son shall not suffer for the iniquity, sin, of the father, nor the father shall suffer for the iniquity of the son. The righteousness of the righteous shall be upon himself, and the wickedness of the wicked shall be upon himself. But if a wicked man turns away from all his sins he has committed and keeps all my statutes, laws, and does what is lawful and right, he shall surely live, he shall not die. Ezekiel 18 verses 20-21 As for the glorious Quran, God Almighty says, 
No person earns any sin except against himself only, and no bearer of burdens shall bear the burden of another. The Glorious Quran 6 164. Say, O Messenger, to these idolaters, shall I search for someone other than Allah as a Lord when he, may he be glorified, is the Lord of everything? He is the Lord of those things that you worship besides him. No innocent person will bear the sin of another. Then your return will be to your Lord alone on the day of judgment, and he will inform you about religious matters that you used to differ about when you were in the world. Al-Anam 164 Whoever is guided to faith, then the reward of his being guided is for his own good, and whoever goes astray, the punishment for his going astray is to his detriment. No soul carries the sin of another soul, nor do I ever punish a people until I establish proof against them by sending messengers to them. The Glorious Quran 1715 The true concept of sin is that everyone is born sinless, pure, and innocent. Thereafter, a person would commit sins and bad deeds, but God Almighty the Most Merciful will forgive him when he asks for forgiveness. The Conditions for Forgiveness 1. Confessing, repenting, and asking God for forgiveness. 2. The regret for committing that sin. 3. The true intention of refraining, staying away from the sin, and not to do it again. For giving back the rights of others, if the sin caused harms to others, it must be fixed and reformed. For instance, if you steal money, you should turn it back to the owner. If you insult someone or backbite him, you should ask him to forgive you. The reason is that the sin is not only between you and God, but there is a third party involved. This is the ultimate justice. Chapter 5 Mary and Jesus in Islam O Messenger! Also mention the story of Mary peace be upon her, who protected herself from fornication. Allah then sent Gabriel, peace be upon him, to her, and he blew into her. Consequently, she became pregnant with Jesus, peace be upon him. They were both signs for the people of the power of Allah, and proofs that nothing is beyond Allah's capability such that he created Jesus without a father. Is Quran 21 hours 91 minutes And we made the son of Mary and his mother as a sign. The Glorious Quran 2350 I also made Jesus and his mother Mary signs indicating my capability, she conceived him without a father. I granted them shelter in an elevated place on earth, an even, habitable place which had fresh flowing water. al 50 Mary, peace be upon her. Maryam, Mary, the mother of Jesus, peace be upon them, holds a significant exalted place in Islam as the only woman named in the Glorious Quran. God Almighty says. And mention, O Messenger, in the book revealed to you the story of Mary, peace be upon her, when she moved away from her family and stayed separately in a place to their east. The Glorious Quran 1916 God Almighty named an entire chapter in the Glorious Quran after her name, Chapter 19. In fact, the Glorious Quran refers to Maryam, Mary, peace be upon her, more often than the New Testament of the Bible. She is mentioned in the first three books of the New Testament, Matthew, Mark, and Luke, 17 times and in the next 24 books of the New Testament only once with total of 18 times. Whereas in the Glorious Quran, Mary the mother of Jesus is mentioned 32 times, which is 80% more than the Bible. Can you believe it? Yet, the Christians think that we are the enemy. Moreover, she is one of the most honored figures in Muslim history. Muslims view her as one of the most righteous women to have lived. A woman of dignity, God Almighty says. Remember, O Messenger, when the angel said to Mary, Peace be upon her Allah has chosen you because of the praiseworthy qualities you have. He has purified you from all defects and chosen you over all the other women of your time. The Glorious Quran 342 The birth of Mary the mother of Jesus, peace be upon them. Mary's father is called Imran. He is the equivalent of Joachim in Christian tradition, and her mother is called Hannah which is the same name as in, in Christian tradition. Their household is called the family of Al-Imran whom Zechariah, John, Mary and Jesus, peace be upon them, belong to. The family of Al-Imran is from the descendants of Prophet Abraham, Ibrahim, peace be upon him. These righteous parents, Imran and Hannah, the parents of Mary, were unable to have children for many years and then all of a sudden God Almighty bestowed his favor upon Hannah and she became pregnant. Therefore, she says, O Allah, I have vowed unto you that which is in my womb is for you, for your special service. Meaning, that this child will serve in the mosque, Al-Aqsa Mosque, which is the third holiest site in Islam located in the old city of Jerusalem. 
The wife of Amarn, the mother of Mary, was not thinking in terms of this life at all. She wanted her child to be free from all worldly work and to go to serve the mosque for the sake of Almighty God, and she thought that the child will be a boy because this service is made for men. Then, Allah says, when the wife of Imran finally gave birth, she gave birth to a girl, Mary, and she said, My Lord, I have given birth to a female and a male is not the same as a female. Meaning, she wanted a male who would remain in the mosque, but when she gave birth to a female she was upset. Therefore, Allah said, Allah knows best what she had delivered and the male is not like the female. Meaning, whatever male you would have delivered, that male will not be better than the female that Allah has given you. Because the female that Allah has given you is the best of the women of the world, and this female is Maryam, Mary, peace be upon her. God Almighty says. Remember, O Messenger, when the wife of Imran, the mother of Mary, said. O Lord, I have made it a duty on myself to fully dedicate my unborn child to you, to worship you and your house, so accept this act from me. You are the one who hears my prayer and knows my intention. When she reached the end of her pregnancy and gave birth she was astonished as she had hoped for a boy and she said, O Lord, I have given birth to a girl. Allah knows what she gave birth to. Of course, a girl does not have the same strength and form as a boy that she had hoped for. She said, I have named her Mary and I ask for your mercy in protecting her and her children from the rejected Satan. Allah graciously accepted the dedication and brought her up well. He made the hearts of his pious servants incline caringly to her and put her in the care of the prophet Zechariah. Whenever Zechariah would enter her place of worship he would find wholesome food there. So, he asked her, O oh Mary, where did you get this food from? She replied, This food is from Allah. Allah gives to whomever he wishes in abundance without account. The Glorious Quran 3:35-37. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, Every child who was born is stabbed by Satan. The first thing they do, they cry, but there is an exception of two, Mary and her son Jesus, peace be upon them. They are the only exception. Satan has stabbed every child that was born with the exception of Mary and Jesus. Satan did not stab them, because God Almighty accepted the prayer of the mother of Mary when she said, I seek your protection for her and her offspring from the mischief of Satan and her child is Mary and the offspring of Mary is Jesus and it stopped right there, there was no other offspring. Therefore, these are the only two who were excluded from the stabbing of Satan. The miraculous sustenance, every time Prophet Zechariah entered Mary's sanctuary, her place of prayer, he found her provided with food and he was amazed by the provisions he would find. She would have the fruits of winter in the summer and the fruits of summer in the winter, and these fruits were fresh. Indeed, Allah the Sustainer was the one who had provided her sustenance, and this is one of the miracles that Allah bestowed upon Mary, peace be upon her. God Almighty says. Whenever Zechariah would enter her place of worship he would find wholesome food there. So, he asked her, O Mary, where did you get this food from? She replied, This food is from Allah. Allah gives to whomever he wishes in abundance without account. The Glorious Quran 3.37 the chastity of Mary, peace be upon her Maryam, Mary, peace be upon her, is a role model for all Muslim women. They look upon her as an example of chastity. She confirms the truth of the words of the Almighty God, and believes in his books which he had revealed to his prophets. She has faith not only of constant submission to God, but also absorption in prayer and invocation. God Almighty says, And Allah also mentions an example for those who have faith in him and his messengers, in the condition of Mary the daughter of Imran who safeguarded her private parts from fornication. So Allah commanded Gabriel to blow into her due to which she fell pregnant through the power of Allah with Jesus the son of Mary, without a father. She also believed in the religions of Allah and the books revealed to his messengers, and she was obedient to Allah by fulfilling his commands and refraining from the things he did not allow. The Glorious Quran 66 12 The Glad Tidings the angels descended from the heaven to give Mary, peace be upon her, the glad tidings of a son who will be one of the greatest prophets of God. God Almighty says. Remember, O Messenger, when the angel said, O Mary, Allah gives you good news of a child who will be created without a father. Merely by a word from Allah, such as be, and he will become a child by Allah's will. The name of this child will be the Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary. He will have a high rank in this world and the afterlife and he will be one of those who are made close to Allah. The Glorious Quran 345
Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. Jesus, peace be upon him, is a major figure in Islam. He is considered to be a messenger of Almighty God, not only a messenger, rather he is one of the best five messengers have ever walked on earth. God Almighty says. The name of this child will be the Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary. He will have a high rank in this world and the afterlife and he will be one of those who are made close to Allah. The Glorious Quran 33 45 He was sent to guide the children of Israel with a scripture called Gospel and Muslims consider the Gospels of the New Testament nowadays as inauthentic and believe that Jesus' original message was lost or altered, and we have proved that through overwhelming evidence in the first chapter of this book is the Bible God's word? The glorious Quran mentioned Jesus, peace be upon him, by his name 25 times which is 25% more than the name of Muhammad, peace be upon him, who was mentioned only four times by his name. The miraculous birth of Jesus, peace be upon him the virgin birth of Jesus, peace be upon him, is supremely significant in Islam, and Muslims view it as one of the great signs for mankind. God Almighty told us the story of the miraculous birth of Jesus, peace be upon him. And mention, O Messenger, in the book revealed to you the story of Mary, peace be upon her, when she moved away from her family and stayed separately in a place to their east. Thus, she made for herself a veil from the people which would cover her, so that they cannot see her when she is worshipping her Lord. Then I sent Gabriel, peace be upon him, to her, thus he appeared to her in the form of a perfectly formed human. So she thought he has a malicious intention towards her. So when she saw him in the form of a perfectly formed human heading towards her, she said. I seek protection of the merciful from you that any harm should come to me from you, if you are pious and fear Allah. Gabriel, peace be upon him, said, I am not a human. I am only a messenger from your Lord who he has sent to you for me to give you a good pure child. Mary said surprisingly, how can I have a child when neither a husband nor anyone else has come near me nor am I an adulteress that I should have a child? Gabriel said to her, The matter is as you said, namely that no husband or anyone else has touched you nor are you an adulteress. However, your Lord said, To create a child without a father is easy for me. And it is so that the child granted to you is a sign for people of the power of Allah, and a mercy from me to them, due to the good they will achieve through him. And the creation of this child of yours is a fixed decree from Allah and written in the preserved tablet. So she conceived him after the angel blew into her, then she withdrew with him to a place far from the people. And the pangs of childbirth struck her and made her take refuge by the trunk of a date tree. Mary said, If only I had died before this day and I was something not even mentioned, so that bad is not thought of me. Then Gabriel called to her from the bottom of the valley, Do not grieve. Your Lord has made for you a spring of water beneath you from which you can drink. And hold the trunk of the tree and shake it, it will instantly drop fresh ripe dates on you. So eat of the ripe dates, drink of the water, and be pleased with your child and do not grieve. And if you see any person who asks you regarding the child, say to him, I have bound myself to silence for my Lord's sake, so I will not speak to any person today. Then Mary came carrying her child to her people. Her people said to her out of shock, O oh Mary, you have committed a grave fabricated matter, by bringing a child without a father. O oh one who resembles Aaron, a righteous man, in worship, your father was not an adulterer nor was your mother. You are from a pure household known to be righteous, so how can you bring a child without a father? She pointed towards her son Jesus, peace be upon him, who was in the cradle. So the people said in surprise, how can we talk to a child who is in the cradle? Jesus, peace be upon him, said I am the servant of Allah. He gave me the gospel and made me one of his prophets. And he made me a great benefit for the servants wherever I am. And he ordered me to perform prayer and give zakat for as long as I live. And he made me righteous to my mother. And he did not make me arrogant towards the obedience of my Lord nor did he make me disobedient to her. And safety from the Satans and his helpers is on me on the day of my birth, the day of my death and the day I shall be raised on the day of judgment. The Satan has no evil effect on me in these three frightening places. He who is described with these qualities is Jesus, son of Mary. And this discussion is the word of truth regarding him, not that which is said by the misguided who doubt and disagree in his affair. It does not befit Allah to have a son, exalted and free he is from this. When he intends something, it is enough for him to say regarding this thing, be, and it most definitely becomes. 
so he who is like this is free from having a son. And Allah, may he be glorified, is both my Lord and your Lord, so make worship sincere for him alone. This which I have mentioned to you is the straight path that leads to the pleasure of Allah. The Glorious Quran 19 colon 1636 The Glorious Quran acknowledges the virgin birth of Jesus, but that miraculous birth does not make him the incarnation nor the son of God. God Almighty says, with Allah, the example of the creation of Jesus, peace be upon him, is like the creation of Adam, who was born from dust without a father or mother. Allah simply said to him, become a man. And he became as Allah willed. How do you then assume that Jesus is a God on the basis that he has no father when you accept that Adam is human despite his having no father or mother? The Glorious Quran 359 Jesus, peace be upon him, never claimed divinity. God Almighty says, Remember that Allah will address Jesus son of Mary, peace be with him, on the day of rising and ask him whether he told people to worship him and his mother besides Allah. Jesus will reply, declaring Allah's purity, it was not right for me to tell them anything but the truth. If I had said that you would know it, because nothing is hidden from you. You know what I keep hidden within myself, but I do not know what is with you. You are the only one who knows everything that is hidden and everything that is apparent. Jesus will say to his Lord, I only told people what you instructed me to tell them, to worship you alone. For as long as I remained amongst them I watched over what they were saying. When my term ended and I was raised to the sky alive, you, O oh Lord, were watching their actions. You are a witness to everything and nothing is hidden from you, so you know what I said to them and what they said after me. The Glorious Quran 5:116-117 Islamic teachings emphasize a strict notion of monotheism and forbid the association of partners with God. God Almighty says, The Christians who say that Allah is the Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary have committed disbelief, as they have attributed lordship to someone other than Allah. The Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary, himself said to them, O Israelites, worship Allah alone. He is my Lord and your Lord. We are all his servants. Whoever ascribes anything as a partner to Allah, then Allah will not allow them to ever enter paradise and their place will be the fire of hell. They will have no one to help or assist them before Allah and no one to save them from the punishment that awaits them. The Christians who say that Allah is part of the Trinity, Father, Son and Holy Spirit have committed disbelief. Allah is far above such a statement. Allah is not many, but he is only one God who has no partner. If they do not stop saying such things, a painful punishment will afflict them. Will these people not retract this statement, repent to Allah and ask his forgiveness for the idolatry they committed? Allah is forgiving towards the one who repents, whatever may have been the sin, even if it was disbelief. Allah is compassionate to the believers. The Glorious Quran 5,72-74 Say, O Messenger, to the Christians who receive the gospel, do not overstep the limits in your religion and do not say anything but the truth about Allah in relation to Jesus. The Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary, is only Allah's messenger sent with the truth. He created him by his word which he sent with Gabriel to Mary, which was the word be, and he became. It was a breath from Allah which Gabriel blew with Allah's instruction. So have faith in Allah and all his messengers without making a distinction between them. Do not say, the gods are three. Avoid saying this false statement and it will be better for you in this world and the afterlife. Allah is the only one God free of any partner or child. He is self-sufficient. The dominion of the heavens, the earth and whatever is in between the two is his. He is sufficient as a guardian to carry out the affairs of his creation. The Glorious Quran for colon 171 Those Christians who say that Allah is the Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary have committed disbelief. Say to them, O Messenger, who is able to prevent Allah from destroying the Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary, as well as his mother and all of those on earth if he wishes to do so? If no one is able to stop Allah from this, it is a clear indication that there is no God but Allah and that all of those people, Jesus, son of Mary, his mother and all of creation are all Allah's creation. The dominion of the heavens and the earth, and whatever is between them, is Allah's. He creates whatever he wishes and one such creation of his was Jesus, peace be upon him, who was his servant and messenger. Allah is able to do all things. Nothing is outside his ability.
He created Adam without a father or mother. He created Eve without a mother and he created Jesus without a father. The Glorious Quran 517 Jesus, peace be upon him, is a messenger of Almighty God. God Almighty says. The Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary, was only a messenger like other messengers. Just as death occurs to other messengers, it will occur to him as well. His mother, Mary, was a truthful and sincere woman. Both of them were in need of and used to consume food. How can they be gods when they were in need of food? Look, O messenger, and think about how I may clear to them the signs indicating my oneness and the falsehood of their extremism in attributing lordship to others besides me. Despite this, they do not recognize these signs. Then look and think about how they are misled from the truth, despite these clear signs indicating my oneness. The Glorious Quran 5 hours 75 minutes Jesus, the son of Mary is nothing but a servant from the servant Sabala whom he favored with messengership and made him an example for the Israelites. They can use him as proof of the power of Allah because he created him without a father, just like he created Adam without parents. The Glorious Quran 43 59 Allah will make him a messenger to the Israelites, instructing him to say to them, I am Allah's messenger to you. I have brought to you a sign indicating my prophethood, I will make the shape of a bird using clay, then I will breathe into it and it will become a living bird by Allah's permission. I will cure the one who was born blind, so that he will be able to see, and the leper who will recover from his illness, and I will bring the dead to life. I will do all of this with Allah's permission. I will tell you about what you consume and what you hide in your homes. In all of these extraordinary things that I mention to you, which human beings cannot do, is a clear sign that I am Allah's messenger to you, if you wish to have faith and to accept the proof. The Glorious Quran 349 The Miracles of Jesus, Peace be upon Him To aid in His ministry to the Jewish people, Jesus, peace be upon Him, was given the ability to perform miracles by permission of God not by His own power. God Almighty says, Allah gave Moses the Torah, and followed him with other messengers. He gave Jesus, the son of Mary, clear signs of the truth of what he came with, such as bringing the dead back to life and healing the blind and the lepers. And he strengthened him with the angel Gabriel, the Holy Spirit, peace be upon him. Yet is it, O Israelites, that whenever a messenger comes to you from Allah with what does not agree with your whims, you become full of pride towards the truth. Looking down on the messengers of Allah? Do you reject a group of them and kill a group of them? The Glorious Quran 2 hours 87 minutes Jesus would bring some clay and mold it into the shape of a bird, then he would breathe into it and the bird becomes a real bird. He would put his hand on the blind, he would see. He could heal the lepers. He would put his hand on the dead, he would wake up alive. He spoke to the people. In the cradle to defend his mother when he was only few days old, then he never spoke again until he grew up like every other child grows up. And starts to speak at the age that every other child speaks. God Almighty says. Remember when Allah addressed Jesus, peace be upon him, and told him to remember Allah's favor to him when he created him without a father. To his mother, Mary, peace be upon her, when he chose her over all the women of her time, and upon him when he strengthened him with Gabriel, peace be upon him. Allah told him that he used to speak to people as a baby, calling them to Allah, and that he used to speak to them in his adulthood, telling them what Allah had sent him with. Allah reminded him of the favor of being taught how to write, and that he taught him the Torah that he had revealed to Moses, peace be upon him, and the gospel that he revealed to him. He was reminded of the favor of being taught the secrets of the sacred law and its benefits and wisdom. Allah reminded him of how he would make the shape of a bird from clay, blow into it and it used to become a living bird. He used to cure the person who was born blind, and he would treat the leper and heal his skin. He also used to bring the dead to life by praying to Allah to give them life. All of this happened with Allah's permission. Another favor that Allah reminded him about was that Allah protected him from the Israelites when they intended to kill him after he brought to them clear miracles. The only thing they could do was to deny them, and they said, Jesus has brought nothing but plain sorcery. The Glorious Quran 5 110 after Jesus, peace be upon him, brought clear signs of his messengership to his people, he said to them, I have brought wisdom to you from Allah so that I can make clear to you some matters of your religion you differ in. 
So be mindful of Allah by fulfilling his commands and refrain from that which he has prohibited, and obey me in whatever I command you with and prohibit you from. Indeed, Allah is my Lord and your Lord, we have no Lord other than him, so devote your worship to him alone. This monotheism that I call you towards in devotion of worship to Allah is the straight path in which there is no deviance. The Glorious Quran 43-63-64 The Ascension Jesus, if peace be upon him, was not crucified but was nearly made to appear that way to disbelievers by Allah Almighty who physically raised Jesus, peace be upon him. Into the Heavens To Muslims, it is the ascension rather than the crucifixion that constitutes a major event in the life of Jesus, peace be upon him. God Almighty says, I cursed them because they proudly, but falsely, said, We killed the Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary, the messenger of Allah. They did not kill him as they claimed, nor did they crucify him, but they killed and crucified a man whom Allah made to resemble Jesus, so they thought the person who was killed was Jesus. Those Jews who claim to have killed him and those Christians who surrendered him over to them are in doubt and confusion regarding the matter. They have no knowledge, but make guesses that are of no worth against the truth. Truly, they did not kill Jesus nor crucify him. Instead, Allah saved Jesus from their plot and raised him in body and spirit to himself. Allah is mighty in his dominion and nothing can overpower him. He is wise in his planning, decisions and laws. The Glorious Quran for colon 157-158 Note The ascension of Jesus, peace be upon him, may confuse some people to the extent that they believe he is God and he returned back to where he was. Take it easy, Adam, peace be upon him, was created in the heaven and descended to earth, and Jesus, peace be upon him, was created on earth and ascended to the heaven. Then, he shall be descended back to earth to kill the Antichrist, Dajjal, and die as every other human being.